Trellick. It's now a village of less than 3,000 people with a small primary school, village hall, and a basic store offering local food like bacon and pastries. But during the Middle Ages, the village evolved into one of Wales' major commerce hubs until it was nearly wiped out by the 14th century Black Death. Trellick, the long-forgotten medieval city nestled in the heart of the Wales, a thriving center of commerce and governance, celebrated for its bustling marketplaces, skilled artisans, and grandeur of its castle. Over 800 years ago, the city's landscape was adorned with charming timber-framed houses, their thatched roofs extending towards the sky. Narrow cobbled streets wound through the town, lined with bustling market stalls, where merchants and traders proudly displayed their wares. The majestic castle, standing tall as a symbol of power and protection, formed the grand centerpiece of Trellick. As one stepped into the city, the air would have been filled with the aromatic essence of daily life. The scent of freshly baked bread wafted from nearby bakeries while savory meat sizzled on spits in open-air taverns. Fragrant herbs and spices emanated from apothecaries, where remedies for various ailments were skillfully prepared. The earthy smell of wet soil mingled with the sweet perfume of wildflowers, creating a delightful symphony of scents that enveloped the city. During its prime, Trellick thrived with a diverse population estimated to be around 10,000 inhabitants, a significant number for a medieval town. People from various walks of life coexisted, like artisans, merchants, farmers, and nobles, each contributing to the vibrant tapestry of the city's social fabric. Market days in Trellick were a bustling spectacle, drawing people from neighboring regions to partake in the exchange of goods and news. The central square would have been alive with a cacophony of voices as merchants enthusiastically haggled over prices and laughter and chatter resonated through the air. The castle, that prominent seat of power, it played a pivotal role in the life of Trellick. It was that symbol of authority and a center of governance. This is where laws were enforced and disputes were settled. Surrounding the castle, lush meadows and fields provided a picturesque backdrop sustaining the city's agricultural needs and offering a sense of tranquility amidst the bustling streets. However, as the centuries passed, Trellick's prominence gradually diminished for various reasons. Changes in trade routes and economic shifts may have contributed to its decline. Additionally, historical records indicate that a devastating fire in the 14th century caused considerable damage to the town and impacted its prosperity. As time marched on and generations turned, the memory of Trelick slowly faded. Without surviving inhabitants to pass down its oral history, the once thriving city slipped into the realm of legend, with its existence becoming a subject of speculation and rumor. Fortunately, the name Trelick itself was preserved through the Welsh language, still spoken in Wales today. Linguists and historians studied old documents and records, tracing the etymology of the name back through time. By comparing historical sources and linguistic evidence, they confirmed that the ancient name of the city was indeed Trellick, dispelled any doubts about its identity. Trellick, with its 14th century church and hospitable bar with open mic nights, has at least 20, possibly 30, historical spellings, four of which are still widely used today. Thanks to the tireless efforts of modern-day archaeologists, the once-forgotten city was rediscovered in 2017 through meticulous excavation and research. As the team unearthed the ruins and artifacts, they pieced together the puzzle of Trellick's past, revealing its former glory and shedding light on the factors that led to its eventual obscurity. Today, the excavation site stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of this captivating medieval town, once lost to time but now brought back to life for all to explore and cherish. Visitors have the unique opportunity to step into the past, to experience the sights, the smells, and sounds of Trelick from over eight centuries ago, immersing themselves in the rich history of this legendary city, located near the Welsh-English border, where, interestingly, both English and Welsh languages were used in Norman times, along with French. These are... Interesting things with J.C.